Hello, my name's Mark Monroe. Just a few basics um, might help someone just setting up a van. Um, I've just brought my new van. Um, I got it fiberglass, I think that's the best thing, all the way around the outside and everything. Um, now, I've just picked up myself a new tank, and there's just a few dimensions people might want to know, might help them. Um, I'm going to fit myself an immersion. I've got a 14 inch immersion, which I've cut. A 65 foot, 65 mil hole. Um, there's the immersion there as well. Um, this is just great in the winter. Um, it doesn't get boiling, but it just keeps the edge off, keeps it above freezing. Just gives a nice little radiator all over the um, van. Just keeps everything nice and warm. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do as well is to fit a, a ball valve. I use a 25mm drill bit for that. I think it's great when filling up with a DI vessel. Um, as well as other things you can use it for as well. Emergency quick hot water if you've got a combi boiler like myself. Um, if you haven't got any fittings down the bottom, I've just brought them. Um, now that's your first one is in there. That's inch by three quarter. And then it's a three quarter to half inch. They just fit inside like that. And then that will go inside there. Now I'll PTFE all the joints there. That will be a lovely, nice, solid joint when that goes in like that. Then I'll have a little ball valve or a, a gate valve or something. And I'll come out here just to drain the tank down or fill my backpack up. And then I'll come up here for the pump and whatever. Um, when I put the immersions in, go back to the immersion, I always put silicon round the outsides, both sides. Now how you're thinking how you tighten the out inside up. Best thing I've found is mechanical flange. Absolutely great. Um, again, I buy a spare washer for that. So that will go inside there. And then The nut will go inside, you can't really see. And I'll just tighten it from the inside, silicon both sides, and you're going to have hot water all the way through the winter. Um, that's my first bit. The next bit will be obviously then securing the tank um, to the van. Hope this is of any help. Okay. Welcome to the next stage of um, me setting up my tank. As you can see from the last stage, the immersion is all in now. Um, it's all tested. I left it 48 hours filled up with water. As you can see, I filled it up from there. I put all these on just temporary. That could be drained down, so everything's fine. Now, I was going to buy a tank frame, and they're a good couple of hundred quid. So I thought to myself, you know, I've got a load of fiberglass left. I've got some wood left over from a little summer house I built. So what I've done is I've put wood all the way around the outside, if you can see right round the back. That's screwed at the moment. Later on I'm going to pop down the builder's merch to get a couple of bolts so it's going to be fixed to the back of the at uh, the bottom of my van. Because um, I've got some fibreglass left I'm then going to put fibreglass upstands all the way around the back which will help strengthen it and also keep it waterproof. Um, I'll show you that later. Right, as you can see I've got fibreglass all the way around now. I've bolted it to the bottom on top of the fiberglass, I've then put another 2x2, two two, which I'm going to build my framework to. Um, later on, I'm going to get some hardener and some grey resin, and I'll paint that all the way around to match in with the rest of the um, rest of the floor. What I've also done as a added protection, these are builders bands. They're all the way around the outside, and right around there, and I've also fixed them to the bottom, and I've got a plate the other side in the cab which is then screwed in so you've got four screws in through there and screwed to the bottom this is absolutely solid now and I still haven't finished ready to the next stage That's my final stage. Everything ready now for pump control and bits and pieces to go on. 
Um, a bit of space down there for my DI vessel. Uh, you might have thought everything's gone a bit over the top, but um, you know, I'd have had to buy shelves and make them. This is all built now to exactly what I want to the sizes I need. Um, I've also put now a restraining strap on around the side, all the way around there, around there. So I mean, there's just no way this is going to move. It's got three bands around there. It's fiberglassed in at the bottom. Um, safety is very important. So as we go along, you can see I've shelved all along the top there. I've used thicker wood here because this is where I'm going to have my leisure battery just on top. Um, this is where I put all boxes, put all my bits and pieces on, like scrims and you know washing up liquid and vice versa. That's where my battery's going to go. Along the front, just got a bit of ply. And you got it on eBay, I think it looks quite smart. It cost me £4.50 including postage. It's a vinyl sheet. Um, just thought that looks quite good. Um, and that's it all finished. Now I've just got to make my holes for my immersion um, and connect to my pump and everything. That's uh, my next stage. Right, thanks. For <coughs> Welcome to the last part of setting my van up. As you can see, I've extended the ply. I just thought it looked quite good gives me a bit more room to put bits and pieces on and that vinyl just works fantastic on ebay for less than a tenner anyway uh, ferris string goes at the top with a bit of conduit and a junction box and the pump um, the only reason I put, oh, that's where I connect my water um, just like an emergency, it's like, I'm, like a bit of hot water in there quickly if I need to the only reason I'm a bit of a gadget man so um, just put a junction box here just you know I like my silly little things I might put a little thermostat on there you can put radio I mean you don't have to put this normally you can just go straight down the bottom but I've got a junction box so I can just tee off and put anything on there now what I've also got is there now at the back of this this that's where my if you can see that's my immersion it, So that's immersion. This is a caravan plug, and the reason I did that is obviously now, if I want to plug anything in, I will just pull it back. In there, at the, ver at the other end, is a plug on it. So that just goes bang straight into extension lead. And nothing can get pulled on there any time I'm not using it because obviously I'm only going to use the immersion a few times when it's cold. So that's just great. Pull out, lock out. So that was a great little thing. Um, got to mention, oh yeah, down the back, all my stuff goes through the junction box through there, round the back here, and there's my battery and all the wire and everything goes down there, and just down underneath the um, door I have a relay so everything can get charged up.